In this session we're going to talk about theoretical best lap and how to create one. Theoretical best lap is based on all your lap data. So in this case we're going to go ahead and select all laps and that will select all the laps under session rather than the out lap and the in lap. Click OK. From there you'll see the track map and we're going to go out ahead and go up here to segment tools. Segment tools allows you to auto create segments and in different styles. So in this case standard, turns and straights or minimum G's. We'll go ahead and select standard, hit auto create and now we can actually take some of these segments and drag them around if they're not exactly where we want them. Just click and drag and if, say if we want another segment down here at the end we'll just click and move that. Click and move that. And we'll put one over here near turn one. Now that our segments are created you can see the color coordinated and numbered on the track map as well as on the distance graphs we can go into setup and we can actually select just the theoretical best lap. Now you can see it's almost a second faster and the cool thing about theoretical best lap is it also works with video. In this case you can select the video, hit OK and now you will see a theoretical best lap with video and data running. So with the video and data, essentially, as you cross the next segment, if you had a faster segment in data or video, it would show you that, and you can see it in the data as well as the video. So that way you can actually have a visual reference to what you did on the perfect lap. Now oftentimes you'll be on a straightaway being drafting a car, for instance, and that's unrealistic because you can't be drafting a car in every straightaway but it does give you a good idea of what the car and yourself are capable of if you put everything together on the perfect lap. 